What's going on YouTube fam? What's up? Hey, listen, I'm gonna play this video. Hold on, sorry about that. My glasses just fell. Uh, I'm gonna play this video for you guys. Please like and subscribe up front. If you would, please, much appreciated. I know I ask you guys that a lot, but it gives me a little bit of motivation to make some of these videos along with your enthusiasm of this great community I have of people that know about these TVs. And speaking of knowing about a TV set, a lot of people don't know how to set up their TVs, I'm finding out. Finding out a lot of you guys are buying these TVs, the Z9F, the A9G, just setting these TVs up and watching them out of the box, which is fine, but if you wanna get a your money's worth off the TV set, you're gonna to have to set it up, guys. So I was just gonna play this video just for a quick second, give you guys a full view of the punch this sucker's got. This is the baddest TV out there, LED-wise, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't get any better than this for an LED. Um, and with very, very minor flaws, as my boy uh, John Legg, uh, during the interview in the last video made, it's going to be tough to beat this TV overall in everything it do that it does do, that, is, that it does right. And with that saying... I'm going to cut this off just a second and uh, go to my settings here. Pop up some videos for you guys, some uh, some settings. So take a look and, uh, you know, we'll go through the settings and uh, I'll, I'm going to and let you guys know that some of those people out there that do not know how to rather set up their TV, I'm going to go in a little bit of a slower pace for you guys. So I'm going to put this up here and we're going to, Go through everything for you guys. Let's go to the settings first. And I'm just going to reset my settings. And I'm going to act like you're sitting right next to me. I'm teaching somebody how to do it. How about that? Because some people really don't want to mess with their TVs. I get it. You know, you just got your new TV. You're not familiar with going through your settings. And you want to just go through there and uh, play your TV without any hassle. To be honest with you, when I, I set, reset it back to the default for you guys. And mine says apps video up here. So this is basically the settings for your apps. And right out the gate, like I always say you do, go in there and make sure also before you even start anything, go into watch TV, okay? And when you go into watch TV, go into your uh, external inputs and go down to HDMI signal format and make sure everything's enhanced. See, I have everything enhanced there. That's what you want to do to begin with, okay? Once you go out of that, back out, hit the back button, go on display and sound, picture, and then go into picture mode, okay? Then you want to go into your advanced settings. And sometimes it'll say apps video up there. Every once in a while it will not. Um, I don't know what the, decides between custom or apps video, but this is the apps video section of things. And... Right out the gate, everything looks pretty much good, but I don't like this on my apps. I don't like the gamma negative too. It was so dark. Watching, you know, your YouTube, your 4K content, what have you. I don't like it that low. Um, that's my personal preference. Uh, the black level, I leave it alone. Black adjust, I will either put this on low or I'll leave it alone. Sometimes I like it on low, depending on what else is going on with the TV. But for now, we'll leave it on off. And one other thing I'm noticing immediately after I do the factory reset, the auto local dimming is too low. You want it on high. You want to get the best auto local dimming possible. And then also you want to turn this on high, extent dynamic range. You want that on high as well. Okay? So if you watch a picture, for instance, and you want, you want just a little bit darker, like the black bars, for instance, you want to hit the black adjust just a little bit, turn the black level to 49. Now, when you do that, if it's a dark movie already, you might crush a little blacks, okay? So that's an option as well um, that you could do to enhance the black bar level, okay? Well, another thing you want to do is go into color, leave that alone. Everything looks great here. Expert 1 for your color temperature. Make sure that's on Expert 1. And leave the live color off. You don't need it on. This TV pops so much. I don't know why anybody's even using that. How much more pop do you need to have out of the doggone thing? It's bright and just crazy looking as it is. Then you want to go into, my bad, leave the sharpness alone. Manual creation. I like to turn mine up to about 45 
that really gives that that nice three-dimensional image sharpens up everything but not overly sharp okay then you want to go out of it random noise off digital noise off smooth gradation low and you'll notice a lot of these settings i have are just like some of the older settings i had on the 950g so this will apply to the 950g as well so if you have a 950g this will definitely help you out smoothness i like my smoothness on one this is a preference i've heard some guys crank it to max I like mine on one. I think following some of the test signals I've run, one with a minimal clearness of either minimum or one. Either one. I like the minimum one as well. That will give that ultra smooth uh, feel to it when you're watching it. Eye popping colors. Everything else is left alone in the factory reset settings. HDR auto. Color space is going to be auto. And then I'm going to back right out of everything and put on something badass for you guys to check out and see the spectacular images of the uh, Z9F. The way this TV just pops with the colors, I mean, it's ridiculous. There's nothing that can beat it.